the beauty of Moment of Truth, unlike maybe other interviews of that kind I've done in the past, they come to us, you know, they're done. They've, if you could say they've fixed themselves, but they've come to a place where they're talk, happy to talk about it. So there's no forced, you know, it's not like, no offence, the chat shows or the daytime programs or anything. It's not like that. They're ready to talk and I always get great. It's my own peace of mind out of that. So when I've left them, I haven't left them necessarily very vulnerable, you know, so that's, that's very important to me. Yeah, there's a few different subject matters coming up. Um, we're filming already. Uh, mental issues is a big, big thing out there. So we're talking to one or two people who have had a history of mental issues and living with that. A um, woman who um, was on death row in the US, she lives in Ireland now. So I'm going to spend a few days with her, not just a day. Uh, and that, you know, how you can have that experience, be wrongly convicted and not be angry as me, because I would be very angry. So I'm baffled by her and I'm really, really intrigued by her. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great because now we're doing more out and about, we're doing more EFP as we call it, there's more filming outside rather than sort of sitting down in one location and chatting for hours. So I'm really looking forward to it. And as I said, we're in the middle of it, so, you know, you do come away and you're wrecked. Um, but I'm a really good producer and we post more to it on the way home. You know, I drive and we chat and both of us, it's a good two, three hours where we're just talking about it. So you get out of your system and you're wondering, did you get this right? Was that a good question to put in there? How will the edit go? So you kind of, by the time you get home, you put it to bed. And that is really important. Every program I do, every interview I do, every documentary, everything I do gives me a new outlook on something. Or so I've learned something I didn't know before. And how many jobs do that? You know, at 43 and I'm still learning something. I did three weeks on radio recently and... I got to know so much more about the world through radio. So, yeah, I mean, what other jobs do you do that do that for you?